to a middle of the night emergency to get 1600 COVID vaccines into patients arms here in Seattle. Somehow it all worked out. King Fives Glenn Farley is live outside of UW Medicine's Northwest uh, Clinic tonight. Glenn, it sounds like this was a huge scramble. It was a huge scramble. Call it a freezer fail, a refrigerator wreck, whatever it was. The chill was coming off those 1600 doses of Moderna's vaccine. 400 of them were distributed here. Another 400 at UW's main hospital on the campus. And where our story picks up is 800 that went to the Swedish clinic over at Seattle University. 1A, 1B, and an appointment. How do you throw three emergency vaccine clinics in the middle of the night? This is how. First, you ask your staff to stay late, and many did. And second, get your volunteers to show up. Third, send out word to patients to come and get it. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, get in here at this time of night. It was definitely important. Yeah, by now, you probably heard people showed up in their bathrobes. They did. He did have time to dress up, so I just came as. <laughs> and we are here now. <laughs> and we're done. Go back to bed. And what brought us here? A freezer fail at Kaiser Permanente, where the Moderna vaccine was on ice. Susan Mullaney is regional president of Kaiser Permanente. When that refrigerator, it was a refrigerator that malfunctioned yesterday at our Capitol Hill site, um, when that happened, there was an immediate response to that to say, we've got to get these 1,600 doses uh, uh, into people's arms in the next 12 hours. Let's make that happen. At 3.15 this morning, it was over. I pulled my team together, our vaccine clinic team at Swedish, and uh, we huddled on Microsoft Teams and came up with the plan. And 30 minutes later, we came on site, and here we are. Kevin Brooks is with Swedish. He says they tried to follow protocols as closely as possible. These days, really meaning 65 and up. This woman was already fighting hard to get an appointment. I've spent two hours a day on it, yeah. trying to get it. And I have my lit name on about four lists. Now she has a shot. And thank God for family. My wife came screaming down the stairs saying, did you see the news? <laughs> I hadn't. I was doing dishes. So she got on, we made the appointment, and we came. As for that pesky freezer, We've tested every refrigerator, every freezer. They're all functioning properly this morning. And on my desk this afternoon, before the day is out, I'll have a full after action debrief to let me know if there are more systematic issues. Now, two things. Will Kaiser Permanente still have their own vaccine clinics going forward, even though these 1,600 shots were given out last night? They said, yes, this is not going to affect their schedule. They've got to work around there. Also, was everybody over 65 and qualified to get these? The hospitals say they don't know how many, but probably some know. Will those people still be eligible to get their second dose? The hospitals say yes. Live in Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Well, it's good that nothing went to waste. Glenn, thank you for that report.